Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about the directives in JSP. Directives tag gives a special instructions to the web container at the time of page translation. Directive tags are of three types, page directive, include directive and tag lib directive. First we discuss about the page directive. The page directive defines a number of page dependent properties which communicate with the web container at the time of translation. The basic syntax of using the page directive is this is the syntax you write here the angle bracket percentage symbol and then add the rate page and write here the attribute and value of the attribute. Here we will discuss about the attributes of the page directive. I am listed here the attribute. First is import, second is content type, third extends, info, buffer, language, is el ignored, is thread safe, page encoding, error page, is error page. First, we discuss about the import attribute of the page directive. The import attribute is used to import all the members of a package, class, etc. It is same as import keyword in Java. I am taking here the example. This is the page directive and here I am using the import attribute of the page directive and passing the value as a pack.class1. Look here, I am creating a class. The name of my class is class1 and uh, simply created a method sum and the return type of the sum is int and passing two argument x and y and their data type as a uh, integer and returning the addition of the x plus y to the sum method and uh, this class resides are inside the pack package. And here I am importing the first pack dot class one means first write the package name as a pack and then class name. And uh, here I am using the declaration tag and calling the method class uh, calling the class one, creating here the object and calling the sum method and passing two argument ten and twenty value. The addition of the 10 and 20, 30 is assigned into the Z variable. With the help of implicit object out, we call the print method and simply print the value of Z onto the screen. This is the functionality of the import attribute of the page directive. In this slide, we discuss about the content type attribute of the page directive. Content type is nothing. It is format of the data that sent by the web server to the client as response. The browser take response on the client system and display it to the user. The default is textless HTML. Here I am taking an example of the content type. Look here. This is the page directive and uh, this is the attribute content type. Passing here the application slash MS Word means the value of Content type is application slash MS Word because I want to open the information into the MS Word. And uh, here I am using the declaration tag and calling the implicit object out and then print method. Passing here, this is the MS Word demo terminated with semicolon. When you run the, you write the this code into the Eclipse and run it. This is MS Word demo. This statement open into the MS Word. Here we will discuss about the extend attribute of the page directive. The extend attribute defines the parent class that will be inherited by the generate, uh, generated servlet. It is rarely used. Is el ignored attribute of the page directive? This is the another attribute of the page directive. The is el ignored attribute 
is used to ignore the expression language and uh, we will discuss expression language in later video session by default the value is false that is expression language is enabled by default we will discuss expression language in later video sessions this is the syntax and here i am using the is el ignored as a true okay we will discuss next info attribute of the page directive info attribute set the information of the jsp page which is retrieve letter using get servlet info method of the servlet interface i am taking here a example this is the info attribute of the page directive and simply i am giving the value as a this is login info page this is basically used to display some information on to the screen for readability page for readability and here i am using the expression jsp tag calling the get servlet info method to print this information on to the screen in this slide we will discuss about the language attribute of the page directive the language attribute is used to specify the scripting language in jsp page the default value is java look here this is the language attribute of the of the page directive passing here the java as a value okay this is the next buffer attribute of the page directive the buffer attribute is used to set the buffer size in kilobytes to handle the output that is generated by the jsp page the default size is 8 kb i am taking here the example passing here the using the buffer attribute of the page directive and passing the 8 kb this is the default default uh, size of the buffer if you write here 16 then it is not getting any error if you write here more kilobytes like 1 1 lakhs kb on that gate on that case it display memory error onto the screen exceptions onto the screen okay is thread safe attribute of the page directive servlet and jsp are multi threaded if we want to control the multi threaded behavior of jsp page we can use is thread safe attribute of page directive the value of is thread safe value is true look here this is the is thread safe the value is true means in this time it work as a multi threaded behavior of this jsp page if you write here false or change the true value into the false on that case it is serialized the request means it only handle one request from the user at a time and uh, this is the declaration jsp tag and with the help of implicit object out we call the print method and uh, this information simply print on to the screen in this slide we will discuss about the error page attribute of the page directive it is used to define the error page if exception occurs in the current page it will be redirect to the error page look here this is the error page attribute of the page directive passing here the url of error dot jsp and using here the declaration tag and declaring a variable x and assign the 20 value into the x declaring another variable y and assign the 0 value into the y and division of the x divided by y store into the z variable and with the help of print method we will print the z value on to the screen it is getting error after when you run this program it's getting error and the error page attribute redirect to the error dot jsp page i am created here the error dot jsp page 
and uh, simply I write here the H1 level heading and uh, error occurred. This information or heading H1 level heading print the error occurred onto the screen as it is and uh, this is the is error page attribute of the page directive. This attribute is used to declare that the current page is the error page. Look here, I am taking the previous example and uh, error page equals define the error.jsp. I am simply passing here the URL of error.jsp. Same code, it getting error and uh, redirect to error.jsp. Come here, I am created here the error.jsp page and uh, this is the page directive and uh, using here the attribute is error page equals to true means error occurs on that case the I am using here the implicit object exception calling here the print stack trace method and response dot get writer passing as an argument this statement simply print the error message onto the screen divided by zero okay and uh, other directives in this video session we discuss about the page directive remains two directive we will discuss into the later video session or into the next video session thank you friends please subscribe my channel and uh, like my video thanks for watching my video thank